everybody. This is Cheryl from the Anton Art Center. We thought you might be getting cabin fever by about now, so we thought we'd come out with a project for you. And today's project is going to be making puffy paint. You can make your own paint and it'll puff up. And you make it with equal parts of shaving cream and glue. Regular Elmer's type glue, white school glue. So I'm taking my glue and emptying it into a mixing bowl. <laughs> and then equal parts of shaving cream. Now the shaving cream, you don't want to fold in here too thoroughly. You want to be gentle with it because all the air bubbles in the shaving cream will come out. So just be gentle, mix it up. Pretty easy to do. And it makes quite a bit. I would say I only used about a, a quarter cup, actually, of each one. So once you have it mixed, you have a couple options. The first option is just to leave it white. And you can also, I happen to have a cookie decorating tube. It's a triangular tube with a tip, but you don't really need that. You can also take a Ziploc bag and just cut a tiny, teeny bit off of the corner. Put some duct tape on the bag to make sure it doesn't open up. Fill your bag up with your paint and then you squeeze it out. And I'll show you how that's done in a little bit. The other option is to not use white and use some food color to color it. So I'm gonna make a couple batches, small batches of different colors. And if you have food coloring at your house, that's great. If you're limited, because food coloring is pretty limited in the colors, we can mix our own colors. And I'll show you a little bit. So the one color that I love to use is red, which I'll put, you don't need too much, maybe two to five drops. It just depends on how much color you want and how vivid you want it to be. So that's three drops. We'll see how that turns out. Looks a little bit pink for my taste, so I'm gonna put a few more drops of red in. But if you did want pink, I would just add maybe one drop of red. So mix that thoroughly. There we go. That's better. And now you can start painting with your red. Let me mix one more more color. I think I'd like some green. And I happen to have a green food coloring. I'm gonna really make it a dense green. Put about five or six drops. A hunter's green. Hunter's green, yes. My camera guy, Greg, he's got good, good advice. All right. It's a really pretty green. Now, if you didn't have green and you only had, say, yellow and blue, if you mixed yellow and blue together, you would get green. Or if you wanted a purple, you could mix red and blue together and you would get purple. So there's a lot of different options. Test out some different color combinations and you can mix your own colors. Now, you'll need a variety of paper. I'm going to go with a darker color and show you how to do the piping. So I loaded this up with white foam and I'm just going to do a series of curves. And you can do an outline, you could do uh, abstract, doesn't have to be anything in particular. I think I'm gonna do kind of a 
bug looking. There we go. Now, one thing you can do is let that sit and dry and then come back and fill it in. I'm gonna try to do some dots in, with, along inside of here. So this is a lot of fun to do. And again, you can do that with the Ziploc bag, load up the bag with some white and trim a tiny piece off of the corner and use it like I'm using here. All right, that's one option. The other option, I did this earlier, is I just painted with it. I used a paintbrush, I filled in the moon, and then I just drizzled along here with the white and the orange. Now to make the orange, I mixed yellow and red together. So that's an option too, you can make some orange for yourself. Let me move this out of the way. Now with this, I was thinking, I let it sit, I did this earlier, let it dry a little bit, but I really wanted to make a flower. So I'll come back in with my green and a paintbrush and show you how that works out. It's very thick, as you can imagine. But I'll do a stem and I think we'll do a couple leaves. You really have to load up your brush. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush at home, you could use some objects from home, like a Q-tip would work just fine. And we'll use that over here. You can mix your paint in. Cat's interested. Oh, my, my assistant Pete's here. He wants to help paint. But I think right now he's more interested in what I'm doing, so he'll sit back. Here we go. Now, let me mix some yellow. And that's just straight yellow. Don't have to add anything else. We'll see how yellow on yellow looks. As long as I get a different shade, I think I'll be okay. All right. Now I was gonna try to do some petals with this. Let's see how that goes. This is a skewer. So I'm using a skewer for my kitchen. And I'm just gonna put a big drop in the middle and then pull out. And again, just keep going around till I have enough petals. And I think I would come back once this dries and add a little bit of glitter glue to it, which is always fun. Oh, Petey wants to get involved. Okay, go ahead. Right, load up my stick. Pete, back up. Oh boy. There we go. So that's just about it. You can do a lot of variety of different things. This is the flower. That's how that turned out. You can also go back, and I would wait till it dries because sometimes when you layer these, they sink into the flower. But you could also add just a bit of glitter glue if you have it at home. Find things that you have at home. I guess my glitter glue needs to be worked on. Find some things that you have around and have fun with it. You can make cards. If you had any leftover cards you wanted to recycle, that would be a fun project. You could write a letter and send them one of your homemade cards. So that's it. 
the puff paint project today. I'm gonna to come back with a couple other projects during the week and I will get back to you. Have a good day.